Hey guys, it's Ken Marlin, Microsoft Champ and uh, Microsoft MVP here at Arrow Electronics. I am making a new video on some of the changes that they made to the Microsoft CLA agreement. I'm going to quickly take you through that process. So with the new process, you will get an email. So you give all your info to your Arrow contact um, and we put that into a Microsoft portal and then Microsoft sends the primary contact an email that looks like the one right in front of me. They, the, the key here is to make sure and look that, at this area here where it says the, the link is valid until, uh, because if that expires, we will need to resend it out. What they do is they would click here on this link. You can see it's a crazy link, and it will take you to this website here. Um, this is the customer license agreement. It's done electronically. It's an electronic signature. It's a fairly quick process. Um, what you'll do is you'll scroll down. There's a parent company area in case you happen to be a, a large company, a subdivision, a subsidiary of a larger company, you can change that to yes and fill out this info. Otherwise, you can ignore it. It is green. What you do is you look for the green items. If they're green or gray, they're, they're, they're good to go. The distributor, Aero Electronics, company details. Um, the company name will be here. Make sure it is correct. Um, if there's any problems with the company name, because it is grayed out, you can't change it. We have to change that. If there's any issues with that, get back with us. We'll fix it. Um, you can also add a doing business as here. Then you'll have your address. But you can see most of these fields are green because they've already been filled out. If any of them are red, you will need to fill them out. I have actually on mine already filled out some of this to make it a little bit speedier. Um, and then you can see here, that it, it's basically all green, which means it's done, thus the, I can't save it. But if I come in here and I get rid of this, you'll see that that field is red and I can save it either. Um, but when you type it in, it'll turn green and then you can hit save and we'll give it a shot. We'll hit save here and save that. Then you go down to the next part. Um, which is your CLA contacts and your additional rights agreements. Um, in this first part, you'll have your CLA contacts. It's going to default to the primary person that we submitted or sent the, the link to. Uh, but you'll see here, there's, a, there's an error here, which basically says there are fields missing. And people miss this little uh, exclamation point. So look for that. That means what you need to do is come in here and edit this. And what I'm going to do for the sake of time um, is I'm going to show you so you can see what it looks like and you can see that there's some red fields here that are mandatory and need to be filled out. But what we're going to do is um, I'm going to not do that for the sake of time. Go in there, fill that out, hit save. You can see I can't save it now because there are red fields. It will not let you save until all of the green fields are filled in. Also, I've noticed that sometimes people, for some reason, drop down here and they try to pick the state before the city or country. And if you notice, it will say select. It won't give you the drop down. So what you got to do is you got to pick a country. We'll quickly choose United States. And then you'll see that the states open up. And I can choose Arizona. Uh, but you need to go through that, fill it all out, and hit save again. I can't do it because I need to go through all the fields. I'm not going to do that for the sake of time. I'm going to hit cancel on that. Once that is all done, this will go away. So you can make sure that there are no exclamation points in that area and you'll be good to go. Next is the additional rights agreement. And I'm going to cover that in a different section, a different video. Uh, so for this video, uh, I will go ahead and say additional rights is if you have another company like a third party integrator or an outsourced manufacturer. They don't really say those names in this area. You have to add to see that. Um, but if you're working with another company to help build your device or help build the software or help integrate it, this is where you will add them right there by clicking add. I will make a second video that dives into that one a little bit deeper. From there, you're going to hit uh, the checkbox here to agree to the terms and conditions and the additional terms and conditions. And then you will hit accept. When you do that, it goes back to Microsoft. They will review it. Typically takes 24 hours and upon which they will, in most cases, approve it and send you an email with your CLA number and a notification that you have been approved. And you're all done. Later, if you have, if you need to add another company as an outsource manufacturer or a third-party integrator, you can come, you can get back with us. We'll send you a new link, and you can come back into the same area, click Add, and add them. So you can always add those companies later. Some companies like to just get this agreement signed, 
and then come back and add those other companies later. Maybe they need their addresses or contacts there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. With that, we'll end the video.